Good evening everybody. I'm in Yorkshire at the moment and I'm here because I was at the count last night for the Batley and Spen by-election. It, it didn't go so well for the Heritage Party so it's a bit disappointing for me and um, uh, you know for us. I really am so happy with our candidate though, Susan Laird. She put uh, so much effort into the election. Yeah, We didn't have a very big budget and we didn't get much media attention so perhaps that's to be expected with 16 candidates as well but you know we will be back fighting other by-elections. There's a couple uh, which are possibly going to come up in the next um, two or three months. We're already looking at them and making plans uh, to stand in forthcoming ones. A um, couple of things about the by-election, though. Uh, Labour won just, and uh, there was a last-minute swing to them um, because the Tories were predicted to win. Uh, but what we hear is that people were so disgusted by the hypocrisy of the Tories with their um, breaking lockdown rules, and this was a big issue why people didn't go out and vote for them in as big a numbers as they wanted, uh, and things swung back to Labour. But, you know, Tory and Labour, they're both the same. You're not going to get a change if you vote for either the one of them because you want to keep the other one out and that is what people are still doing. 70% um, of people nearly in the election voted Tory or Labour. Um, we're here as the Heritage Party to offer a real change and you know just today there's all kinds of crazy things still going on in our world. I mean the disturbing pictures coming from Canada where a mob has toppled a statue of Queen Victoria it, it is appalling you know and we are seeing people try to do the same thing in this country. It's already happened. Uh, we're here to stand up to protect our heritage. Also with freedom, we hear that the government now is thinking of having lockdowns every winter for the next five years. This is absolute insanity which will continue to destroy our economy and civil liberties. We can't be having that. So we're going to carry on fighting and we'll be back next time.